cool. You have your whole week planned for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting ready to stand there again with my other role. All right, so I need to stand here. I can look at a lot. Yeah. So Susan, you have so many different aspects to sh to that y that you have experienced with Temenos. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to be compassionate towards bugs. <laughs> and they keep flying at you like the, remember when the wasp? The wasp, exactly. Oh I had one get caught in a, a bumblebee get caught in my hair over here also. <laughs> we have fun here at Temenos. Yes, we do. <laughs> and the insects yes. do too. Yes. Um, so... There's so, ma so many different aspects to talk with you about. Yes. I was, um, well, I wonder if you could start with talking about the professional side sure. um, and how you have seen Temenos uh, work on the, in the corporate setting. Sure, sure. so um, I've had a chance to do uh, probably a couple of hundred influence maps so far in a corporate setting. and. Um, mostly around personal vision, but some influence maps, some personal mythology as well. And what I found is it's the f quickest way to make that human connection, to get to the compassion, to get people to find themselves in somebody else's story. That's just an amazing experience to witness and to be part of and to um, um, help them find that place of compassion. One thing that I've found in the corporate world is that we've kind of lost humanity and we as human beings need that connection with other human beings and we're so much more fulfilled and so much happier and can actually have fun at work and be still get valuable work done. And what I find with Temenos is it's the genius is in its simplicity. It's an easy three-step process that the point is to get to that act of, st of telling your story and getting to that point of compassion for those that you work with. And the experiences I've had is that people are kind of not sure of it going in, but when the whole group is involved, then it brings that kind of collective um, skepticism together and they trust you that you're going to guide them somewhere. And when it's done, they're like, I wish I'd done this months ago or years ago. I've worked with somebody for 10 years and I never knew this about you before. And it's just, a, it's an amazing experience and only, only good things come from that. Um, I absolutely believe in this in the corporate setting that only good comes to focus on really driving business value and developing products to the best of our ability when we have compassion for the people that we work with. And on a personal level, uh, can you talk a little about your um, the impact that your work in Temenos has had on your? So I would say personally, it has a profound has had a profound impact. understand the dis distractions and either eliminate them or delay them to the point of um, where they're no longer the focus in my life. Um, I've been able to visualize my fantasies in a way that fits with my life purpose now. I've been able to find forgiveness and compassion with my family. life and I'm hoping it's enriching theirs. Um, I 
have been through an enormous year of transformation and change that's really been sparked by my Tepanos experience. It's brought such clarity to my life, to my life purpose, and has allowed me to see how all these other elements in my life are either supporting my life purpose or I shouldn't be spending um, mind energy, thought energy, physical energy on them. And it's, um, it has brought just an enormous amount of um, potential and optimism, but even more than that, I'm actually activating my life purpose and in a, in a hugely big way that is driving me um, into my future. Um, and uh, it's, I absolutely believe that this is the, is the way to, to understand what your patterns of sabotage are, what your patterns of success are, that you can actually um, recognize when that's happening and acknowledge it, whether you're going to modify or not, it's kind of up to you in the moment, but you can at least acknowledge when these patterns emerge and be aware of its impact on others as well as on yourself. So when I look at all of this together, that being able to re forgive the past, being able to understand that pattern of success and sabotage in the present, and being able to have focus on the future, um, it just brings such uh, excitement and enthusiasm for me that uh, I, um, I want to share this with others. And, and I'm, I'm doing that with, with my work. And uh, I'm seeing the effects and I'm seeing the response and the resonance to this that's different than anything I've experienced and anything those around me have experienced also. And um, in your professional work, not as a coach of Temenos, but mm -hmm. um, just in your work, ha have you seen any changes in the way you've interacted or? Yes, absolutely. And so in my work, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, a lot of mentoring, and I apply the Temenos method in that. In, in, um, by going through influence maps and personal vision, then the person I'm coaching, um, we create a transformation backlog together. And it brings such a, um, a closeness. It builds trust so quickly, and it just provides the ability for me to connect with them and for them to feel safe and secure with me that it accelerates their transformation and it accelerates my ability to support them in their transformation. Um, it's incredibly enriching um, to be able to to have that kind of uh, structure, to have these very deep, meaningful conversations and relationships that just um, good things come from, phenomenal things come from, and that it's okay to have these fantasies and it's okay to have things that aren't directly associated with your professional life, but be able to see how it all comes together into one context is incredibly powerful. And um, by the experience I've had, I can relay that to others and they can see Ah, so it doesn't all have to be about work, and it doesn't all have to be about family or community. I can find a way to bring it all together in a way that makes sense through discernment and understand those distractions, fantasies, and life purpose and, and have that focus and clarity um, to, uh, to activate. So, yeah. Great. Um, going back to your work with Temenos, in the corporate setting. Yes. Um, would you be able to summarize a little bit some of what you consider the benefits to be to the corporation, why, why they would want to get involved with Temenos? Yes, I mean it really is about people and when it comes down to it, um, people need to take care of each other and in a corporate setting we've lost that over the years. 
we've provided constricting structure and hierarchy and power and performance management, all these things that just push people down. And we forget that we're human beings with love and compassion inside of us, that we're no, we c can be competitive, but we can also be competitive with compassion. And the way that we speak to each other and treat each other and listen to each other is builds that, that um, culture of compassion and love. And when people are feeling valued, they are valuable to the corporation. There's no question about that. They'll stay, first of all. They'll stay engaged. They'll promote and influence those around them. And it just brings this spirit of togetherness and collaboration that only betters the products that the corporation is developing or the services that they're providing. It, it only makes it better because of that human connection. And I really believe Temenos brings that um, in its simplicity, in its structure. It feels chaotic, but actually has a lot of discipline and theory and grounding foundation behind it that makes sense to people. You can connect with them through that analytical part and really get to their heart and allow them the freedom to make these connections with their, with their co-workers, with their managers, with their uh, people that they manage. The, the whole ecosystem of a corporation is just better, better for it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. That's I think I think I've quizzed you enough. Okay. <laughs>